What is meibomian gland dysfunction and how can it be treated? Meibomian gland dysfunction is, is a form of dry eye, but it's, it's slightly confusing to think of, of, of this condition as dryness. In meibomian gland dysfunction, you have all the symptoms of dry eye. You have grittiness, discomfort, pain typically at the end of the day or during the night, um, all symptoms of, of dryness. But actually, when we look at the tears of these people, they have plenty of tears. The issue in these patients is the quality of the tears. So what we find is that the mybum, which is the oil in the tears, is of very poor quality or is, is lacking. And that's because the oil glands that make this mybum are not functioning correctly. And they're called the meibomian glands. And there's, that's where meibomian gland dysfunction, the term comes from. It's the oil glands in the eyelids that make the oil component of the tears are not functioning properly and they're making poor quality oil, which is causing a feeling of discomfort or tiredness or heaviness in the eyes. So how can it be treated? Well, treatment for meibomian gland dysfunction uh, is, 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 is really there's two components. There is addressing the consequences and there's treating the cause. In terms of treating the cause, the single best treatment for meibomian gland dysfunction is consistent heat therapy. So simply delivering constant heat for 10 minutes or more to the meibomian glands stimulates them to produce more oil and better quality oil. So there's various different ways of doing this, everything from machines that deliver heat to very basic eye bags, which are microwavable devices, or uh, sometimes they can be uh, self-heating devices that are placed on the eyelids. But the key component of heat therapy for meibomian gland dysfunction is consistent heat for 10 minutes or longer uh, at high enough temperature. The second component then of treating meibomian gland dysfunction is treating the consequences. So if a patient has had poor quality oil for a prolonged period, and meibomian gland dysfunction for a prolonged period, they'll start to develop damage on the surface of the eye as a consequence. And that damage will manifest as uh, unhealthy cells, uh, cells on the surface of the eye that are stressed and dying. They stimulate inflammation, and pa these patients typically have a slight mild redness uh, on the surface of the eye due to low-grade inflammation. So very often, of course, anti-inflammatory eye drops are required. And of course, that's only something that can be provided by a consultant ophthalmologist. Um, so a, a combination of anti-inflammatory treatment. And the last component of treating the consequences is addressing the concentration of the tears, the hyperosmolarity, we call it. And hyperosmolarity is when you have this dysfunctional oil it interferes with the concentration of the tears and the tears become too concentrated, too salty. And this actually hurts, this, this irritates and hurts the eyes. That can be addressed by using either hyperosmolar eye drops or eye drops that are designed specifically to correct this imbalance in the concentration of the tears. So there is no one single treatment for meibomian gland dysfunction. It's a combination of encouraging better meibomian egg oil production with treating the consequences in terms of anti-inflammatory and anti um, and, and lubricant drops which correct the osmolarity of the tears.